Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are doing an Amazon haul, Amazon must-haves, TikTok made me buy it, Amazon favourites, all of that good stuff. I have accumulated quite a few things. Um, so I thought I would sit down and share them with you all in one place and I will leave them all linked in the description box below. I do have an Amazon storefront for ease if you just wanted to see all of my favorites within that I'll include within this video and also previous videos. So yeah, without further ado guys, make sure you're set and ready for a nice cozy drink of choice. Your feet are up, your candles are lit. And let's jump into the video. I'm actually going to start with the biggest bargain of the video at just 90p. Obviously prices do fluctuate on Amazon so I will just say that but I'll say the prices that I paid anyway. 90p, uh, this was definitely a TikTok maybe buy it purchase and this is one of these kind of like molds that you can pop a wax melt in and then pop that within your wax melt burner. So this is just one that I've got from Primark and as you can see you can just sit it within the dish so the wax melt melts in there and then it just makes it super easy to keep this clean and then just pop it out and replace it with a brand new fresh wax melt. These wax melts, which again, you can pick up from Amazon, the Yankee Candle ones. These ones are in toasted marshmallow. So I'm gonna get one of these burning. Next up, I've got this set of four wooden egg cups. And I just think these are so adorable. Highly anticipating waiting for our kitchen to be finished before I pop these away, but how adorable are these? They were only five pounds for a set of four, so not far off a pound each and it's just I don't know I just think the wooden look is nicer than just a ceramic um egg cup I just think they look nicer these were yet another tiktok purchase tiktok made me do it because I've seen these and I just thought they looked so nice I think you can get different sizes I think these ones are the smaller ones but essentially if I can get them out Sticking with the kitchen, having things aesthetically pleasing, because we all know I love that kind of stuff. Uh, some kind of like acrylic milk cartons, which you could obviously put different juices in and just pop these within the drawer, like the inside drawer of your uh, fridge. I thought these would be good for when I start making up, once we have a hob and I can start boiling some water again um, and making the lemon and ginger tonic. To be able to pop it in one of these again and keep it nice and cool in the fridge, so yeah, I got a set of two of those. I think they were £10, so £5 each, these ones. I also want to get more into like a regular routine with taking vitamins, because I can slack, I'm not gonna lie. And I thought I would pick up these. I couldn't see them sold individually. I could only see them sold in packs of two, but they are these little pill pots, pill dispensers, dated um, with all the days of the week on. So yeah, I suppose with two of these, we can maybe see if Tom wants one. I did actually pick up some magnesium tablets. These are meant to really help reduce stress and anxiety levels, which you guys know I can suffer with. And um, yeah, I thought I would try it out. I've recently started putting magnesium bath salts within my bath to allow it to absorb through my skin. But I thought I would um, start taking some supplements and see. See if it makes a difference. Just keep on track then with exactly what you've had on each day. So prices, the magnesium tablets are six pounds and these pill containers are four pounds, so essentially two pounds each. You may recognize these from our Finland trip. These came in so handy, handy, excuse the pun. These are a lifesaver, honestly, in the minus 27 degree weather. But even if you just, in England, dog walks, wanna keep your hands nice and toasty. We also picked up foot warmers, which I didn't think I'd like. Again, needed them. If anyone's got any wintry, snowy getaways as well, then definitely pick up those. This one was yet another TikTok purchase that I um, found on TikTok and decided to get. So this is a ice cube tray and a lot of them have like the circular molds, which are quite popular. You can pop like fruit and stuff in them. This one is the square ones, which I actually personally prefer. They do loads of different colors. I obviously just went for the white, but it allows you to fill up the tray of um, water, make it into ice, shake it out into here so that you've got a load of ice already ready. And then that comes with a little scoop as well. And then again, you can refill this. You've always got ice ready. These were priced about 11 pounds. They did fluctuate though, um, depending on which like color that you wanted to get. But yeah, I 
obviously went for white. When do I ever do an Amazon haul without including some books, especially coffee table books? And I've got these three that I wanted to share with you, all part of the Kinfolk range, of which I already have one. I think I've got the, well, here I've got Home, Entrepreneur and Garden. Table is the one that I've got, which is more like based around cooking recipes. They've also got a travel one. Um, I loved these three in particular, so I picked up them. These were, I think they retail for about 40 pounds, but on Amazon, they're about 20 to 25. So this one is the Kinfolk Garden. These are gorgeous. Like if you actually wanted to take off the cover, um, this one is a gorgeous green, which honestly is very similar to the color of our island. Maybe a little bit lighter, but that kind of muddy, earthy green is gonna be perfect in our kitchen. And then the next one that I got is the Kinfolk Entrepreneur with loads of inspiring reading material and like people's stories. And again, if you wanted to see the cover of this one, it's kind of like a um, brown, like a taupe brown. And it's got a list of all the different entrepreneurs that's included within the book. And the last one that I picked up, the Kinfolk Home, obviously very inspiring for us, renovating and deciding how to decorate our house but the cover of this one as well yet again if you wanted to take it off it is um like a beige color creamy beige black writing and then on the front it's just embossed um but no color so yeah really really pretty books lovely to have on display and also great material for reading within these as well now i've got a whole different selection of items to include within my car i'm actually going to take my car to go be valeted today and i'm going to do a bit of a switch up within my car and just make it feel a bit nicer a bit more organized and just try and keep it nice and clean within there so firstly i've got some car air fresheners these little tree ones are really good so i picked up some black and white ones in Arctic Ice, is it called? Arctic White. And then this black one is Black Ice. And then I also picked up Forest Pine, which is my favorite. They were a pound each. Then I also picked up these. And again, this was something that came in a pack of two. So I'll give Tom one, because I don't really need both of them. Or it would be quite good to have one in the house for uh, cleaning like your laptop and phone, but it's essentially a screen cleaning mist. This is how it looks and you essentially fill it with like glass cleaner, screen cleaner on your dashboard. And because I've got a Tesla, we don't really have a dashboard area, but we have like a big iPad screen so it can get fingerprints and kind of dusty looking. So spritz it on there and then this is like a microfiber so you can spritz it and then use this to wipe it clean really handy again good for like on your phone screen ipads laptops and they were four pounds each then at eight pounds i picked up this which is a like a car bin they go in your well there is actually a clip which you can put it somewhere else but i'm thinking of just popping this in the side of my door and they come with um, these little, they kind of look like dog poo bags, but little mini bin bags. So, so easy to just take it all out in one go. It also looks nicer, like rather than just loads of rubbish in your door. I saw these in white on TikTok, but when I went to actually purchase it, I've seen that they do it in black and I, I was torn between the two. I was like, which one do I get? I ended up going for black and it's these like tissue dispensers, tissue holders that you can just simply slip on your visor so that you've always got tissues to hand or you can again slide it on the side of your door so that you've always got them there handy and it's just good to have they even come with a pack of tissues as well you can just replenish them as and when you run out and it's just handy to have these in the car maybe quite good actually with wet wipes because i do have i keep some wet wipes in the car with barney being in the car and i just kind of shove them in the boot but to be able to have them as well Anyway, these are $5.99 and as you can tell, they're like a leather kind of material. Um, so if you've got leather interiors as well, it will match perfectly. And also for the back of um, your seats. Now, I did have one of these previously with a last car and I left it in the car when I got rid of the car. So I thought I would get another one and I actually couldn't see them being sold individually. I could only see them in packs of four. Essentially, you just hook this to the back of the seat. So the back of your driver's seat or the passenger seat so that in the back you've got an area that you can just literally, like it sits like that on the on the head part. So you've got this hook here, which you can just hook your bags on, your shopping bags, your handbag. How much did I pay? Pound each, they were. Lastly, for like the kind of home stuff, I do have some fashion bits as well to share with you. But lastly, for the kind of miscellaneous home 
car interiors, whatever you want to use these for, travel. Um, I picked up these travel cases. I noticed I was lacking these when I went to Finland. But again, on TikTok, I'd seen these are good for, um, especially the smaller one, maybe having little bits and bobs within your car stored away within a clear plastic bag. So I currently have things like hand sanitizer in there, lip gloss, lip balm. Um, I have mints in there. Pop them within one of these to keep within your car just nice, neat and organized. You've got like kids maybe, they'd be quite handy to have like snacks in or wet wipes again. They were six pounds for the set of three. Moving on to some fashion finds now. And I firstly got a pair of Uggs. I got these Tasman slippers in black. Now I've already got them in green and I'm not gonna lie, I have worn them to death. I've been wearing them around the house, like through the renovation parts, because it's got quite a sturdy sole, even like popping out, taking the bins out, whatever. So they've got quite trashed. Now let me know, can you wash these? Does it say anywhere about washing them? Um, if I can, obviously, to try and restore them. Oh, here there's a label. Does it say? No. Let me know if ever you've washed your Ugg slippers before and how they've come out. Um, but yeah, I decided to grab myself a, another fresh pair. I might even just keep wearing my green ones for as long as possible so that once the renovation is done, I then have a fresh pair to bring out then. I think that's what I might do because I don't want to trash another pair. But yeah, I love using those. I also want a bit of an underwear drawer refresh, including socks. And I decided to try out these cashmere socks. So affordable for cashmere socks. They were 19 99 usually. I mean, I know the white company ones are 40 pounds, but usually they're around about the 40 pound mark. You get cashmere blend socks that are cheaper, but these are cashmere. And then I also got some new bits from the um, Amazon range that you guys know I love because they are great dupes for the Lululemon leggings and um, kind of like athleisure wear. Ath Have I just made up that word? Ath athleisure. You know what I'm saying. Um, so I decided to pick up a new color of the leggings that they've got. Although I will say, I'm gonna link the exact Lululemon ones that I love. I'm wearing them today actually. Um, because they do have some sizes, some of the larger sizes, I think 14, 16, 18. Some in the sale from 19 pounds, which is unheard of. The Lululemon leggings are 88 pounds full price. And they have certain colors from 19 pounds. So I will leave the exact ones linked below that I like so that you can check out those if you want the Lulus. But the um, dupe version are about 30 pounds. So yeah, more than half the price. I decided to pick up a new color. These ones are like a charcoal, bluey kind of gray, which I thought were really nice. I get them in a 25 inch leg and I get a size 10, UK 10. I also got another pair of black ones, just good staple. And then I also picked up one of the racerback uh, like running vest tops. And that's what it looks like. It's got at the back a like cut out detail but just a good handy top to have. So I just treat myself to a new coat. This one is from Mountain Warehouse and it's um, waterproof, which is such an essential for me for walking the dog and just having a big cozy hood. This one's actually quite good because it's got, it'll transition quite nicely into spring because it's got an internal layer which you can either remove and wear on its own, that's like a puffer one, or you can wear them like this, doubled up together for extra added warmth and uh, protection from the rain. And then, as I said, I wanted a bit of an underwear drawer refresh, so I decided to pick up some new bits from Calvin Klein. I always think the prices on Amazon are good for Calvin Klein, so I got these um, this three pack. I got this set as well, which I think is really nice because although it's got like a cup shape, it's not underwired. So again, really comfortable. And it's got a crossover back um, as well. Got these in a medium. And then I picked up these two tops, which I'm gonna have to send back and switch for a smaller size. I got them in a large thinking that just to have them as comfy, but the cups are too big for me. So yeah, I'm gonna switch these out for some different ones, but they're kind of like a newer design. Can you see with the bigger Calvin Klein at the bottom? I got this kind of more comfort everyday one, again, racer style at the back, and it's got that bigger Calvin Klein logo on the front, just plain black. This one is in a large, but this one fits fine, as does this one. It's the same one, but in gray with the black writing. Then I also stocked up on some new basic white t-shirts from the Amazon Essentials range. I got these in a large, just to be a bit more like boxier style. And yeah, 
two pack of basic white tees. And then you guys know I was after a like faux leather skirt for a while and I found this one from The Drop. Was it from The Drop? I think it was. Um, and it's got a tiny little slit here on the front, but other than that, it's just plain and simple faux leather. It's got a slight stretchy waist, so comfy, zips up at the side, fits really nice. It is like a mini skirt. I was thinking with my Gucci tights, which I'm yet to even wear. I bought them ages ago and I just felt like I didn't have the right skirt for them. So now I do. And then last but not least, again, another absolute favorite place to shop for piped pajamas. Again, a bit like the white company ones and half the price at 40 pounds instead of like 80 from the white company. The Amazon PJs are gorgeous. They're like a bamboo, so super soft. I have them in a couple of different colors, but I don't have this kind of neutral beige color with the white piped detail. So that's what the top looks like. I just went for the long ones, although I might get some short ones for summer as well. Um, and that's what the bottoms look like. That is everything that I picked up from Amazon. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's haul video. Do give it a thumbs up if you want more Amazon videos like this and any other bits as and when I buy them and I don't have a huge haul, I will upload and show you guys them on my TikTok. Oh, I'm a TikToker now. Um, it's just Freya Farrington if you want to find me over on there. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely, lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you were doing. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.